<clears throat> Alright, Mother Flowers, I decided it's time for some alien audios. So here are the top five audiobooks from what I believe are the best in the Alien series. Mainly because, like, four of them have amazing sound effects. And it's incredibly just engaging mentally. Like, you really get, like, close to these characters. It's a fantastic. Without further ado, here they are, baby boos. Bye. Alien 3. The story begins with Sulaco on its return journey from LV-426. On board the military ship are the cryogenically frozen skeleton crew of that film's survivors, Ripley, Hicks, Newt, and Bishop. Alien, out of the shadows. In space, no one can hear your scream. In this gripping audio original performance, Ellen Ripley, the last human survivor of the salvaged ship Nostromo, once again takes on the relentless xenomorphs, vicious, intelligent extraterrestrials, notorious for tearing people apart. When her lifeboat, Narcissus, locks onto the mining ship Marlon, she awakes from hypersleep to a nightmare. The dreaded creatures are lurking on board, ominously prowling a sealed-off shuttle after slaughtering the crew. When one of the merciless beasts escapes the hold, acting Captain Chris, Hoop, Hooper, and his team are forced with an unimaginable horror, and Ripley just may be the crew's only hope. Alien, River of Pain. Ellen Ripley finally returns to Earth, only to discover that LV-426, where the crew of Nostromo first came into contact with the deadly xenomorphs, has been renamed Akiron. Protected by colonial marines, the colonists seek to terraform the storm-swept planet against all odds but in the face of brutal living conditions in the daily struggle of a new world, there is humanity and hope. Anne and Russell Jordan, two colonists who are seeking a fortune that eluded them to Earth, are expecting their firstborn child. The birth of Rebecca Jordan, known to her family as Newt, is the cause for celebration. But as the colony grows and expands, so too do the political struggles between the small detached into a small detachment of colonial marines and the Wailing Yutani scientists posted on Akiron, willing to overlook their orders in order to serve the company's interests. The scientists have another far more sinister agenda to covertly capture a living alien. The Wildcatters discover a vast decaying spaceship. The horseshoe-shaped vessel is of particular interest to Wailing Yutani and may be the answer to their dreams, but what Anne and Russell find on board proves to be the stuff not of dreams, but of nightmares. Alien Sea of Sorrows Set 300 years after the event of Alien Out of the Shadows and Alien River of Pain, Alien Sea of Sorrows does with the rediscovery of dormant xenomorphs, aliens, in the abandoned mines of LV-178. The plantoid from Alien Out of the Shadows, which has now been terraformed and renamed New Galveston. The Welling yutani Corporation, reformed after the collapse of the United Systems military, continue their unceasing efforts to weaponize the creatures, eliciting the help of Alan Decker, who is forced to join the team of mercenaries sent to investigate the ancient excavating lurking deep beneath the planet's toxic desert, dubbed the Sea of Sorrows. Somewhere in the long forgotten dig lies the thing the company wants more in the universe, a living xenomorph. Decker doesn't understand why the company needs him until his genetic heritage comes back to haunt him. Centuries ago, one of the ancestors fought the aliens, launching a bloody vendetta that was never satisfied. That was when the creatures swore revenge on his forebearer, the destroyer, Ellen Ripley, and all her descendants. Aliens Bug Hunt when the colonial marines set out after their deadliest prey, the xenomorph, 
It's what Corporal Hicks calls the bug hunt. Kill or be killed. Here are 18 all new stories of such close encounters. Written by many of today's most extraordinary authors. Set during the events of all four alien films, sending the Marines to alien worlds, to derelict space settlements, and into the nest of the universe's most dangerous monsters. These adventures are guaranteed to send the blood racing one way or another.